Hello everybody, praise be to God, and welcome back to the logical journey of the Zumbinis. So today we're going once again through the big, the bad, and the hungry on the very hard difficulty. This is the third out of four difficulty ranks. So we only have to go through this one more time in a video in order to show off everything in here. So that's pretty cool. And I also realized that if you do the shift click, you don't have to wait for these all, all these guys to pop out. You can literally just hit the arrow key anytime. It seems one of the allergic cliffs has built up immunity at last. Now Zumbinis with one of two features may pass. So, uh, very hard. This is where the game starts getting quite challenging. <laughs> In any of the paths. But the big, the bad, and the hungry, especially we're about to see how hard it is. So we're at the Allergic Cliffs once again. Let's see what this is all about. Allergic Cliffs, level 3. The Allergic Cliffs play by certain rules. What one cliff accepts, the other is allergic to. Look for the two different features, such as red noses and sunglasses, that do not cause an allergic reaction. So th this is actually very similar to the last difficulty. But, however, the difference is whereas the last difficulty, they're allergic to two features of the same type. This time, they can be allergic to two features regardless of what type they are. So that adds a bit more challenge. Let's start by putting this guy across. All right. Red nose and spiky hair. That seemed to work. Red nose and spiky hair. How about red nose without spiky hair? Uh-oh, he didn't like that. All right, so he does not like bald heads. Let's see if this guy just accepts all guys with spiky hair. Alright, he likes that. Okay, so I'm just guessing that this cliff was allergic to spiky hair, and thus this guy only accepted spiky hair guys. However, if that's the case, this cliff is still allergic to one other trait. Let's try to find what that is. Okay. Not allergic to green noses, alright. Allergic to glasses. Yep, allergic to glasses. So that cliff was allergic to glasses and spiky hair. Oh, I forgot. There's that spiky hair guy. Okay, so the allergic cliffs isn't that bad on very hard. It's not too bad. Well done, O oh wise and trusted guide. The tough part of the allergic cliffs really is figuring out which cliff is allergic to the features and which cliff accepts the given features. Because it changes every time, potentially. But that's the first challenge down. Now we've got this ominous orange path going over the yellow one. Oh man. They're blue. And we're back in the Stone Cold Caves once again. Stone Cold Caves level 3. The cave guardians have a reaction to the certain Zumbinis, just like the Allergic Cliffs. What one guardian likes, the others do not. For example, if the left guardian accepts spring feet, the right guardian will reject this feature. The same goes for the upper and lower guardians. For each pair of guardians, look for two features that a guardian accepts or rejects. Try figuring out what the right or left guardians like first, and then try the upper or lower guardians. So this is what I thought the last difficulty was. Every guard has two traits that they will accept or reject. So, let's start with this little fella. Uh-oh. Tisk tisk. Onyx did not like that. Alright, we'll send him up there then. Proceed. Go on. Uh-oh, she's gonna knock him down. Cause she either Okay, so she either Wrong way. So judging from that, you'd probably say, oh, she doesn't like bald heads or propellers. But it also could be this guy doesn't like spiky hair. So we'll have to do more hypotheses on that. Have a good time. So let's see if it's just propellers that she doesn't like. 
All right, that's a pretty good start. How about this guy? Uh -oh. Sorry, pal. All right, well, he could not like orange noses. He could also not like cyclopses. Okay. Many try, few succeed. All right, so that guy does not care about propellers whatsoever. One of the chosen few. I'm going on a limb and saying green noses are on this side. Well, you're okay. <laughs> he disagrees. I'm so sorry. All right. You'll do. So it definitely seems like this guy accepts green noses and she rejects green noses. These guys do not care about propellers, nor glasses, nor normal eyes. Although it could be, well, it's still too early to say. Let's try this guy here. Nope. Nice try. There's something about him that she didn't like. It must be. The, I'm gonna guess it's normal eyes that she doesn't well, like. you're okay. Step right up. I'm gonna say he doesn't like springs and try go sending ahead, him up. Nope, ahead. that was a bad decision. Maybe she doesn't like bowl cuts. Away you go. Thankfully, we have a lot of chances uh, <laughs> before we lose. All right, let's try this guy down here. Mm, okay. All right, I'm guessing this Enjoy guy accepts bowl cuts. So let's try her or him, whatever. Hmm. You'll do. Uh oh. Maybe she only accepts spiky hair guys and ponytails. What goes up must roll down. Oh, I bet that's it. She only accepts spiky haired guys and ponytail guys, and he rejects spiky haired guys and ponytail guys. Alright, so now it's really a matter of the left or right guardians. Well, all red noses seem to be going on this side, so. Never mind. Maybe she doesn't like guys with glasses. Cyclops is on this side. Well, why not? <laughs> Alright. You've done quite well. Alright, so looking back, he rejects spiky haired guys and ponytail guys. She accepts them. She rejects normal eyed guys and glasses guys, and he accepts them. Alright. So it seemed that all both of those traits were of the same type. I'm not sure if it's going to be that way every time. Likewise, all four guys went into every cave. Not sure if that's a coincidence or not. I will have to do some more research into that. See you later. Thank you. Oh, no poem before this one. This is where Pizza Pass starts getting really good. I mean, it was good before, but this is where it starts just getting even better. Flames? You're not flames! I'm hungry. So now we have a third pizza troll, and cheese is back as a topping. Yay! Pizza Pass, level 3. Arno, Willa, and Shyler will let the Zumbinis pass if you make a special pizza and sundae for each of them. Each troll only likes toppings that the others dislike. For example, if Arno likes pepperoni, Willa and Shyler will not. If a pizza has a topping that the trolls hate, they'll throw it into the reject pit. They'll throw pizzas missing one or more of their favorite toppings onto the rocks. Try making one of the trolls' pizza and sundae be first before starting on the next. Make your pizzas and be aware of what each troll likes and dislikes. The trolls are finicky eaters and they won't necessarily like the same pizzas the next time you see them. So this is honestly pretty darn easy because you get enough chances to try every single topping once before they start giving you the warning. And thus you can accurately determine which each uh, which pizza eats troll likes. Something on that I don't like. I'd appreciate more toppings. Uh-oh, there's something on that I don't want. <laughs> Shyler is the most polite out of all the trolls. I'm a fan. More toppings! 
Something's wrong. Uh-oh. Hey, bro, don't be impatient. <laughs> Pizza delivery. More toppings. There's something there I won't eat. Oh, something's wrong. Pepperoni is not wrong. Pepperoni is delicious. It adds so much flavor to the pizza without su seeping into the crust. Something Looking at you, pineapple. Must go. Is that all I get? Something's wrong. Uh -oh. Maybe he just wants a sundae with, like, saucy bread. Something on that I don't like. More toppings. Something on that's not good for me. <laughs> Generally speaking, one of the pizza trolls will want something with like one topping on it in any given Come playthrough. On. More stuff. That topping, not for me, thanks. Gee, I wasn't expecting that one. <laughs> oh man. Well, at this point, we know what every troll wants because. Shyler has not liked any of the toppings yet, and every troll has to want at least one topping on it, and the only one we haven't tried is the cherry, so that will be Shyler's pizza. We've tried every other topping, so now we get to make all the other trolls' pizzas. Let's start with Willowins. Take the peppers off that, and I would totally eat that pizza. Honestly, I just served her first so I could hear him go, Eh, gross! Thank you, thank you. All right, Shyler, here's the one cherry you wanted. He just likes maraschino cherries. For me? He's so polite. It's hard to hate him. Have a pizza! One, two, three, go! <laughs> <laughs> well done, no oh wise and trusted guide. And they all eat the pizza in a hilarious way, but my favorite way is still Arno's. And that's Pizza Pass on Very Hard. Still pretty darn easy. When, the pizza Pass is only difficult once you get to the highest difficulty rank, and when, once you get a few tricks, it's still pretty easy. <laughs> Gotta love the music. Gotta love the music. So good. Believe what you see, little Zumbinis. You have arrived at Shelter Rock. Here to relax and wait for your friends. Well, let's go to Zumbiniville and check out the new building we got. Oh, that's new. This opera house sings praises to the Zumbinis, who bested bridge watchers, crept cautiously past cave guardians, and sa satiated Shyler, the pizza-loving troll, when traveling was very hard. April 6th, 2018. Oh yeah! Zumbiniville is rapidly growing in population. We only almost have 100 Zumbinis there. Alright, and that's where we're going to leave it off for this episode. Thanks for watching, I'm Colorful Artie. If you tune in next time, we'll be tackling the Mountains of Despair on Very Hard. It should be fun. Until we meet again, have a great day, and God bless.